In lesson seven, I'm going to be talking about neck problems. If you look at the neck, we understand that everywhere you're going, you're using your neck to do all kinds of things. You don't just have to be an athlete. Whether you're driving, whether you're walking, whether you're talking to people, whether you're talking to people that are taller than you or shorter than you, working in front of a desk on a computer, it doesn't matter. Your head and neck are going to control the rest of your body. This is episode seven. This is a super good one because I see a lot of stuff going on with what I'm about to talk about. Episode seven is neck pain, which also boils down to headache issues. So we look at headaches and neck pain, everybody thinks got to take a pill, got to do things like that. So that's not the case. There are 13 muscles around either side of the neck that control head and neck movements, seven vertebra. And the way it works is the neck is very, very mobile. So in the fact that it's really mobile, it also is really susceptible to injury. And remember, wherever the head goes, the rest of the body goes. So if you have a neck problem or neck pain or restriction, you end up with a lot of other issues because it's going to drag your shoulders around. It's going to pull you forward. It's even going to change how you walk. So if you're walking around, you wind up walking like this because your head gets pulled forward because it's not moving the way it's designed to. So we change the way the head and the neck move. You change the way the rest of the body moves. So I'm going to show you three ways, actually four ways on how to fix the neck and change how it functions, which brings the head back into a central position over the spine. Instead of sitting forward, you wind up with a better squat, guaranteed. You wind up with much stronger bench press because your head sits in a neutral position. Your pull-ups are better. Your function is better. You sleep better. You don't get any headaches. This is what you need to do. For this, you're going to need just a band and you're going to need a wall. We'll get that to that. We'll get to that one last. So with the band, what we're going to do is we're going to help regain range of motion. We're going to help regain rotation. We're going to help regain extension because those are the two that tend to be the most restricted. And then we're going to help strengthen the neck in how it, how you hold yourself up, which translates into actually changing your posture and fixing on a side note, shoulder problems and head problems. So we take the band, you can use a towel, you can use anything else, but a band tends to work the best because it has um, a little bit of friction. So it sticks to the skin. It's a little easier to do. So we take the band. I'm going to turn a little bit so you can see where it is. It's in the middle of my neck. Now this is important. I'm going to pull and I'm going to load the band this way, just a little bit. I'm not cranking on it with everything I have. I'm just pulling slightly and then I'm going to pull on this side. So if I pull on this side, I'm turning away from the side that I'm pulling on because it's going to help me turn my neck. So the first drill is I'm going to pull and go as far as I can, hold for a two count and then come back to neutral. So I'm going to do 10 towards one direction, not back and forth. Pull, 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 relax, pull, 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 relax. Then I'm going to do the same thing towards the other side. I'm going to pull on this side and it's going to help me turn and then relax. And then relax. Remember, I'm holding for two seconds on either side. That's the first one. The second drill is we're going to do what's called a fulcrum. So now we're going to start a little lower. So the band is going to start down here and it's going to end up up here. So I want you to watch what I'm doing. So I'm going to take the band. I'm going to pull down just a little bit, even on both sides. And I'm going to bring my neck back and then I'm going to come to neutral. Okay. Not forward. So I'm going to pull down, bring my head back and then neutral. I'm going to raise this up. I'm pulling a little more straight out back and then neutral. And I'm going to come up a little bit more. I'm going to pull straight out back and then neutral. And then I'm going to come all the way up to the top and I'm going to pull up a little bit. I'm going to come back and then neutral. That is drill number two. Drill number three is we want to make sure the band stays nice and tight. So drill number three is I'm going to pull straight out and I'm actually going to translate my chin. It makes my voice sound funny. I'm going to translate my chin backwards. So I'm, if you watch me from the side, I'm going to translate this way versus bringing my head back. It's important. I'm going to do three sets of 10. All of these are three sets of 10. So I'm going to pull straight out this way and I'm going to translate and then back. So while I pull, I glide my head backwards. That's strengthening the muscles in the back of the neck, which tend to be really problematic. And most of the issues with head and neck problems and even shoulder problems tend to be weak and inhibited neck muscles. And that's it. Last one. We're going to move over to the wall. This last move, all you need is a wall. You could even use a tree, like anything you need to prop yourself up on, but we're going to strengthen the entire posterior aspect of your upper body. So basically from the top of the hip, all the way to the base of the skull, you're going to bring your feet, your butt, your shoulders, and your head against the wall. And then you're going to step away exactly one length of your foot. I want your feet shoulder width apart, maybe slightly narrower. 
you're gonna bring your head this way, not this way, so I need to show you that. You're gonna bring your head this way, you're gonna take your arms, you're gonna cross them over top if you can. If not, then just grab your arms this way. You're gonna go like this, you're gonna bring your butt off first, my shoulder blades are still on the ground, and then I'm gonna bring my shoulder blades off the ground, and I'm gonna stay like this, not for two minutes, for five. And I'm gonna stay in this position. When I'm done, I'm gonna slowly come back, shoulder blades first, butt, and then come away from the wall. And that's it. That's how you clear your neck problems up.